So guys, today I'll be showing you how to replace the US indicator turn signals with European LED spec turn signals and flasher relay. So the first thing you wanna do is up in here in the fork of the bike area near the front, right here, there's a little black box. That's the flasher. You wanna pull that out. It's on, it's clipped on using um, little rubber hooks. Um, you want to slide that off, so pull it forward, and then I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I get it. So guys, I just pulled the um, flasher out, it's still attached. Uh, it's a little difficult as it's got a little clip on it to hold it in place, as you can see. It'll focus right there. Um, but yeah, so it clips on to that little rubber piece right there, which is then clipped onto a little flange. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to disconnect that, put in the new flasher, and then I'll show you what it looks like without the, with just the regular, uh, incandescent US flashers. All right, guys. So there's the, um, old flasher, new flasher. It's, um, quite a bit bigger, as you can see. The old one has only, um, two prongs. New one has three. Um, that shouldn't be a big deal as there's in a little, there's a little adapter in here that goes from the three prong to the two prong. Um... And so what I did, I actually freaked out for a second. It was just tucked back, so I pulled it a little. Um, if you look on the back on the side here, uh, it was, there was a little loop right here. And so when I pulled it through, it just pulled forward. Um, and the, yeah, so the new one also comes with um, a new rubber piece. So I'll be trying to work the old one off. One right there to replace that as well. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, pull the uh, adapter off, pull that rubber piece off, and then uh, install the new. So it took a little bit of wiggling and prying. Um, not sure if you can really tell or not, but the, uh, the flange that the rubber piece connects to has a little, um, I guess a little T-shape at the end to hold it on. So it did take a little um, bit of effort. But here it is, um, just goes on the end of the uh, flasher right there and then onto the bike. So now I'm going to put the new one on right now. As it turns out, the uh, LED flasher will not work with the incandescent uh, US market bulbs. Um, I made sure of that by plugging in the old adapter, the old flasher with the adapter just to make sure that my new flasher wasn't broken. I'll install that and then the LED turn signals and I'll show you. All right, guys. so I finally got it on. Um, took quite a little bit of wiggling since um, it is really just stuck on there by um, that rubber piece. Um, these two cables right here, I had to push them out of the way. Uh, I did pull off the side fairing in order to give myself a better um, view of what was going on back here. So these two got pushed out of the way a little bit, so let's push them back. So those two got pushed out. Um, really, uh, I'm thinking that was all. Uh, it was definitely helpful to be able to see what was being pushed on and what needed to be moved out of the way because the old one is quite a bit smaller. Um, Truthfully, if I were to do it again, I probably would leave that rubber piece on since I don't think it really needed to be replaced, but I did. And so now it's on there. Um, time to work on the actual flashers and themselves. In case anyone was wondering how the fairing comes off, there's two bolts right there. One, two. There's one at the top here that goes underneath like that. And there's one and two down there. Um, so yeah, make sure you don't lose anything. One of my clips, uh, that one keeps coming off. There's two others there. And on the back here, there's, um, supposed to be, well, this one has a washer. This one comes off all the time. So here's that second washer. Um, and there are two type, two sizes of bolts, two, four small ones, one big one. That big one is the one that goes up at the top here. So keep that in mind.
putting it back, putting the fairing back on, I realized that I didn't actually have to take it off um, since everything that I was looking at was right here in the open. Um, I mean, it, it helped ever so slightly for these two right here since this wasn't in the way, um, but ultimately it wasn't necessary. In case you were wondering, it's a size four millimeter hex wrench, Allen key, either way, it's just a hexagon shape. So size four millimeter for those. I'll get back to you guys on how to remove the rear um, fender and replace the rear incandescent. All right guys, well it's the next day, I ran out of time. Anyways, um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do after replacing the, um, the flasher relay up front is to open up the back and remove the um, tail fender, tail tidy, whatever you have, whatever you wanna call it. Um, you do that. There's uh, bolts here that go down underneath. There's four down at the bottom. Um, not too sure where the other two go up here, but we'll figure that out, I guess. So I'll get right on that. And so guys, like um, I stand corrected. The two bolts in here do not to be do not need to be removed. I guess that bolts this to the um, subframe or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it's just these four bolts at the bottom, all four are 10 millimeters. Um, so next thing to do is to um, unbolt the actual turn signals. Um, since those are connected to this plastic top, which needs to be removed in order to um, get to the lighting cables. And um, while we're here, you will need to um, cut a zip tie there because the, um, the turn signals do need to be replaced. Well, not replaced, but we are replacing turn signals, so the cables need to be pulled through. So I'll do all those um, and update you guys. All right, so learn from my mistakes, not from yours. Um, I unbolted the uh, rear left turn signal, but it turns out that that's not holding it on. Um, so focus. So there's a little uh, screw right there on both sides, um, Phillips head. So I'll be undoing those and um, seeing if the plastic top will come off now. So, all right, guys. We'll so that. I got my um, fender off. Um, again, don't learn from your mistakes. Learn from my mistakes. Um, you got to cut that zip tie first. Um, unbolt it here with these four. Then you got to push the connectors through that hole, and then the entire fender will drop off. Um, so then, yeah, once you do that, you got to undo the um, the uh, bolt, the screws, one on each side at the back, and then the entire plastic top just pops right off. Um, and now you just have the uh, turn signals to unbolt, as I've done the one on that side. So now I'm going to um, actually pull the cables through, and then you can unbolt the turn signals and bolt the new ones on. Um, they are color coded, I believe. Um, I'll tell you what the color code is. I believe green is rear left and red is rear right. So we'll figure that out. And right, I'll so I got back. all the cables out. Turns out red is actually the um, license plate light. Gray is the rear right and green is the rear left. As you can see, my mine still have the original factory sticker on them. Um, so yeah, the bolts to hold the uh, the turn signals on are 14 millimeter. The order is turn signal, cover, flat washer, lock washer, and then um, I believe just the nut on the end. So that's the order of that. I'm going to go grab my LEDs and um, install so here those. Here is the um, rear right LED turn signal. Uh, as you can see, it's the same color code, but it does not come with the uh, mounting hardware that came with the bike. So I'll be taking those off and installing these. Um, I don't believe there's a difference between left and right other than the color code, um, but I recommend getting them anyways, just because they are set that way from the factory so i'll be installing these and um i'll let you guys know so keep it in mind um this bracket goes underneath the plastic 
Um, it does have a little rubber uh, cover on the end to protect the wires, so don't lose that. Um, it actually has a little plug to go in there. I guess mine came out. So. I'll be putting that back in, putting the um, wires back in, and then connecting them up and making sure everything works. And then I'll head on to the front turn signals. All right, so I got everything in. Um, I bolt, I put the screws back in, one on each side there. And um, all three cables are coming out the back. Um, just make sure that you get all, you start pushing them all through and then pull, um, push all of them together rather than one at a time, otherwise they might get caught on each other, especially with the LEDs having a big resistor right in the center. Um, yeah, so I'll put, bolt this back on the rear of the bike and we'll go from there. All right guys, so I got the um, cables pulled through and the bottom bolts are bolted. Um, make sure that you pull these through before starting to bolt that on. Um, mine weren't, they were, Tucked down here is questioning why is it so short um well it turns out i was just squishing them so pull those all the way through and then go ahead bolt it on and should be done just connect these up i'll go and test to make sure they work um, they should flash a lot faster since we don't have the resistance of the front even though there isn't much but um yeah so i'll get that test that out and start heading on to work on the front so um to the camera you can't really see it, but it's hyper flashing right now. Real quick, um, camera makes it look a lot slower, like normal speed, but it does work. Um, this is the left one, I'll go and let's get the right one. So, right one has the same issue of hyper flashing. Uh, camera still doesn't pick that up. But um, rear turn signal, or rear brake light works. Um, license plate light works um so yeah there's that and um start working and on here's another note to add make sure to zip tie these last four wires back together it was the three we just did plus whatever this is um i'm assuming that goes to a rectifier but um so yeah zip tie those four back together however you want if you want you don't have to I don't have any small black zip ties, so I'm using this um, small clear one. So I'll get that done, and then I'll start working on the front, finally. So. All right, so I've started working on the front. There's um, two bolts right here. They are, should be M8, so uh, I think that would be, hmm, I don't know, my Allen key says four millimeters, but when I ordered the new ones, they're M8s. Um, this one was stripped, and that one was uh, longer than the factory one. I guess the previous owner replaced them and did a crappy job. Um, so you undo those, the plastic piece comes out, and then um, you can see the turn signal cables come up. They go behind and then down back here. So we have to remove that bolt, and then there's one on the side there and the same on the right side, right there. So two of these, and then that top one. Uh, they should all be the four millimeter, uh, same as the uh, bolts. So if my measurement, if I'm using the right tools, well then it should be four millimeter. Uh, so I'll do that, and I'll show you what it looks like inside, and start working on the um, LED turn signal. All right, so it was quite easy. The two bolts on the side, one at the top, and then it um, pivots forward. Um, if you're gonna let, don't let it hang because you might break this cable, and if that breaks, well, you might have to replace the entire wiring harness, which currently I think sits around four hundred, two hundred, four hundred dollars. I don't know, I'm not sure. But um, put it off to the side, so somewhere where it won't get scratched or damaged. Um, it's probably not the best place for it, but I won't kick it. So now you have um, gray wires and green wires. Uh, these are the left and right turn signals. Gray is the right-hand side, green is the left-hand side. Um, just for your information, this small, actually, which one is it? This blue, big blue one is actually the uh, clutch actuator 
uh, switch, so, so it's the switch underneath the clutch that tells the bike that the clutch is pulled and I had to replace that the other week. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. Um, green and gray. So now that all those are taken off, we can actually start on the um, turn signals. So I'll do that right now. So here's a little thought I had, because um, we all know the US North American spec comes with these spacers on them so that they stick out a whole extra length. But I had the idea, could this fit on the spacer? The answer is yes, the spacer fits on the, um, head, the LED headlight turn signal, but this um, extender does not come off the back uh, clip. So you'd have to cut this or um, pull, pull the ends off the out of the clip in order to do that. I don't know if you'd want to, but um, just something I found interesting, which also means that the US spec fits right on. Again, you'd have to take off the spacer, but you can get the um, uh, shortened US spec stubby, I guess I would call it. So interesting thought. Um, I got the first one on. It's a 14 millimeter bolt and the cable just wraps around and then down. Be careful with the big resistor here not to snap that. Then it just plugs back in and you tuck everything in and find more space. So I'll get the um, other one on and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so I got the both turn signals installed. That actually looks, yep. Camera's doing a good job displaying the pace of these, so. Um, they are relatively slow, but I, again, I've also been riding around for a few weeks with um, hyper flashing just on the rear since I had to figure out a way to pull out that strip bolt. By the way, um, they sell these strip bolt removal kits that just screw in backwards. They dig in and then unscrew. So that's that. Um, yeah, so got those installed. Now I'll put the headlight back on. And that should be it. All right, so I got everything back in. Um, this cover was a little weird because I forgot how these went. So uh, the brake cable and the um, on switch, shut off switch, um, starter button cable, throttle cable go off to the side. And then the cables for the turn signals and the speedometer go through that center and then on the right side untouched are all the controls for the left, left hand of that. Um, so yeah it just goes on straight don't try to like tilt it just straight on because um, at first I thought this was supposed to be flush right here but it wasn't supposed to go back there so I got that on um, and here's how We'll turn signals look. That's how that looks. Um, front headlight still has all its functionality of on off. Uh, speedometer is still doing its thing. Make sure not to squish any cables back here, especially the um, turn signal cables. I have those behind, uh, yeah, you can't see it, but they're behind, um, sorry, they're behind this big cable sheath, um, sort of to protect them, also just to keep them out of the way. Can't really show you any better I don't think um, yeah no because they're just hidden behind there that blue is the top of um, one of them that's where the resistor connects to the cable so that's where that is um, but other than that that's the LED turn signal install done so there you go. Good luck.